Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be making a big pot of turkey broth. I usually make this broth when I know I'm gonna need a lot of broth for dressings and gravies. Now, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the turkey necks. I got three packs in here and I got these turkey necks from Quality Foods up in Greer. I've had them in my freezer since last week and we're gonna be using these to make our turkey broth. I'm also gonna be using celery. I'm gonna use all this in here. This is one large onion and this is some that I had left over in the refrigerator and I'm gonna put some sage in there. I'm gonna hold off on putting salt and pepper in it until the very end. All right. All right, what we're gonna do is cut this part of the celery off. I've already washed my celery so it's clean. And what we're gonna do is just give this a rough chop. We're gonna cut the very ends off, so that's a little old, and we're gonna throw that away. But other than that, we're gonna save the leaves, and we're gonna cook all of this. So you're gonna chop it just like that. So that's three rough chops. Now this is the onion that I had left over. And all that we're gonna be doing with this onion is making the broth from it. So it doesn't have to be cooked cooked perfectly. And this broth is gonna cook for about four hours. And that's good enough time to get all the juice out of the turkey necks. Now you can make this broth all year long. You don't have to wait until the holidays. I usually make it up and you can store it in the freezer for about six months, but it doesn't ever last that long, but it will last for a good six months. I've washed my sage off and this is organic sage that comes from the grocery store and it's in the produce section. So look at that, look how big those are. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of this in here. We're gonna take about four or five big leaves and we're going to put this over here in the stock or the broth, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, I only decided to use two packs of the turkey necks. I don't wanna have anything, you know, I don't wanna be wasteful. So I put one pack back in the freezer because it was still frozen. So what we're gonna do is take the vegetables and put them in there right on top of it. Then we're going to add more water. We're gonna just cover it. Okay, that's enough right there for right now. That's almost a gallon. All right, this right here pot, I've had for about 15 years. I got it from Sam's and it's really, it's big. When I'm cooking a lot, when I'm cooking a recipe that has a lot in it, I use this pot right here. So most of the time my family knows when I pull out this red pot, it's getting ready to go down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put the top on here. I have this pot on, let's see, it's on seven. This is my rapid cooking eye. So I'm gonna turn it on to about, well, it was on five. So I'm gonna put it on about six so it can start boiling a little faster. Once, cause this is, a, this is a lot in here. So once this comes to a rapid boil, I'm gonna cut it down to like a medium heat. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. And look at that. This is a rapid boil. It smells so good in here right about now, y'all. So I do, I clean down the sides and I'm going to top it with some more water and I'm gonna turn it down. 
I'm gonna top it with some more water and then probably half of a gallon. And then I'm going to let it come to another ball and then I'm gonna turn it down. Ooh, that smells good. Can y'all smell that in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add some more water. That's a little over half a gallon. We're gonna let that come to another rapid boil and then we're gonna turn it down to like a medium heat. All right, let's check it again. Now, look at that. That's a really good boil. And this is my rapid boil eye. I think I said rapid cook the last time. Sorry about that. So we got these turkey necks in here, we got the sage, we have the celery, and we have the onions. We're not gonna add anything else to it right now. What we're gonna do is turn it down to about four. Let's turn it down to three, and then we'll come back and see how fast that's gonna be boiling. And this right here, when you finish your end product, you wanna have this much broth because I'm gonna be using this broth in my dressing and my gravy. I'm cooking a turkey too, but I always run out of the turkey gravy, the turkey broth. So what I wanna do is make sure that I have enough stock. Now sometimes during the year, um, I don't feel like cooking a turkey because of my family doesn't eat it like that. So if I want dressing during the year, I always use turkey necks. I always get the broth off of turkey necks. So I always try to go to the store and get these meaty, meaty looking turkey necks, but it doesn't matter because the skinny ones are gonna give you just as much flavor. And I always start out with them raw. I never cook them in the oven or anything like that. I just like to use the regular turkey necks. And my family loves turkey necks. But for this right here, broth, we're gonna be cooking them and there's not gonna be, um, they're gonna be falling off the bone when, by the time we get done. Okay, we're gonna be back in just a little bit. All right, that's a good ball right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this on four and we're gonna come back in about an hour and we're gonna add some more water to it. All right, we have the first hour already gone and we have three more hours to go. So what we're gonna do is top it off with some more water I want to fill it back up because remember when we're done when we're done with this process we want a whole pot of broth okay we had a faster rolling boil but when you take the top off the pot you know it loses some heat so it slows down a little bit so we're gonna let it come to another boil and it's gonna be another hour we have three more to go this is the start of hour number three Oh, look at that. So we don't even need to add no water right now at this point. All right, we're gonna let them keep on boiling. Those are the turkey necks. Oh. This is for the broth for the dressing and the gravy tomorrow. How many turkey necks? There's two packs in there. All right, we're on the last hour. So this is the last stretch. See how good and rich that broth is? All right, now we're gonna add salt and pepper, and that's the only seasonings we're gonna put in here. We're gonna add one teaspoon, two teaspoons of salt. And one half of a teaspoon of pepper. Then it's kind of concentrated right now because the last two hours we didn't add any extra water. So what I'm gonna do is add water back up to the line and you can see where the line is. There we go. And the last hour is gonna cook and that's gonna be it. All right, this is four hours. This is what our broth looks like. gonna turn it off. 
Look at that. Still got whole pieces. We're going to take everything out of there. And then we'll give it a taste. All right, we'll be back once it cools off. Okay, now my broth has set out and it has cooled down to room temperature. So it's gonna be easier for me to handle. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna remove everything except for the broth. This is the celery and the onions and the sage. We're gonna take all that out. And we're just gonna be left with broth. And we're not gonna use these for anything, not the vegetables. But we will go through and get the meat out of this right here. Now look at all these good turkey necks. We're gonna be putting some of this turkey neck <laughs> meat in the gravy today and in the dressing. All right, let me get everything out of here and we'll be right back. Okay. okay, guys, so this is the broth that's already ready. I've gotten all the meat and the vegetables out of it and this is what we have left over. I'm gonna pour my broth over into these um, gallon size beverage pitchers and it's gonna be ready. And when I get finished or when I get ready to use it, I'm gonna take it out of the refrigerator. Okay, we're getting ready to get up close and real personal with this bird. This is the first peak and it's done. Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Now this is going to be a juicy bird. I injected it last night and it sit in the refrigerator overnight. So when Monty came home this morning, he put it in the oven for me and it's done. So let's see, let's turn it around. Look at that. You have the onions and the celery inside of it. And look at that, we don't have any pimples on this one. And the one I cooked earlier in the week had a pimple on it. So this one doesn't, it looks really good and it's good and juicy. Okay, this is the first time that I've cooked a whole brisket before. Um, I cook them when they're already turning the corned beef. And I was gonna do that, but I decided not to. So what I've done with this one is I seasoned it real good and I injected it with the Tony Catcher's jalapeno and butter marinade. And look at that. It's all done. And look at that juice. Look at that broth that's in there. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm going to cut into it. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know where to start. So let's go down here to the bottom. And this layer of fat, that's a layer of fat on there. I didn't remove it, but I'm ready to see what it tastes like. And I don't have a video for this, guys, because it was the first time I made it and I wanted to make sure that it was gonna come out right first before I make a video for it. Look at that. Just look at that. Okay, so we're gonna give it a taste. This is, oops, whoops. I guess it didn't want me to taste it. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna taste it and see what it tastes like. And I'll know exactly how to change it or to leave it like it is when I do make the video for you guys. Lauren, you wanna come and taste this brisket? And you're supposed to cut it against the grain. So we're gonna taste this piece right here. Oh, look how tender that is. 
Mm -hmm. That is really good. It kind of tastes like it's been corn, corn, well, I don't know how you say it, but you have to marinate it in order for it to be corned beef brisket. That, that tastes good. That marinade in there, I can taste it. Hmm, there's that right there. Mm. How does it taste? Like hot roast? Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some rice too. That is really good. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so the next time I cook it when I make the video for you guys, um, I'll tell you everything I did with it. I seasoned it really good on the top and the bottom. I injected it with the Tony Catcher's marinade. I used a whole bottle on it. Then I rubbed it down with some garlic and some spices on the top and the bottom. And I covered it up in the oven and I let that cook on 350 for three hours. And this is the result. Woo. And remember, homemade is better than anything you'll ever get out of the grocery store. All right, guys, y'all need to try this recipe because if you ever need a lot of broth, this is your go-to. All right, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, hit that notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.